So welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a couple of things that you really need to know but you perhaps didn't. So we're going to go straight into it and talk about naval invasions. The dread of the Hoi players, the naval invasion sound. If you don't know what it sounds like, here it comes. As soon as you hear this sound, there will come up a notification button down here saying exactly where the naval invasion is launched. So you can see here, this is one of the naval invasions, but you can also see down here this port has a notification, but nothing has happened yet. This means that this port is the target of a naval innovation that has left harbor, which means that we can prepare accordingly. We have nothing there now, so we really need to move out something to stop that naval innovation, to make sure that we have something in the harbor to, to push that naval innovation back. So this is perfect, you know, not being having the need to search around where it's happening, you can just click and you know where the naval invasion will land and you will know before it even has landed on the port. The next thing I want to show you is supply, supply status. This one, this button, where low supply is extremely valuable to see if you have attrition somewhere. And here we have it, we have a unit standing somewhere bad, giving you 12% attrition. When you're pushing in the front line, you can take that for a while, but we can find other units here just standing alone. Uh, with 3.3% attrition and I've seen player in games having attrition while training in the beginning of the game when it, there's e not even a war but or standing here like for two three years with 3% attrition it would really drain your equipment from your army oh, without uh, giving you anything and they will fight really really bad so this is perfect to see where do I have supply problems and what can I do about them and make sure that you don't stand here with a lot of attrition which will drain your army of equipment to make them fight really really bad. Another thing you can look at is here uh, how the front is going. I can see now that we have two offensive actions and we have problem in both and we have three defensive uh, combats and uh, two are going fine and one is okay. Uh, when you're playing just a small front, of course, you can just zoom in and see what's happening. But if you have a lot of fronts, uh, you can always see what's happening in my fronts. Are things going bad or good? Just by the colors of these icons. And the next thing, and I learned this just a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I really, really love it. When you're at war and you have a lot of equipment, you see that there's a lot of things here uh, that you want to need use. Uh, you can always go in here, like adding a light armored recon company. Just wait a second on the save button and you will see that you have the manpower needed, 4000, that's nothing. Uh, but you also have 150 of the 192 armored cars that you need to uh, equip these divisions. So why not? Let's use them, we know that we can. We also have infantry equipment left, so say that we really want to beef these guys up. Uh, we can see what's happening. Do we have the equipment we need? Yeah, 800. There is no problem there. We want to beef them up more perhaps. And we can see that this we have the equipment we need so we can just save this and make sure that you have full equipped divisions. You will lose a little experience by doing this but if you need units, if you need manpower out in the field as soon as possible and you have the equipment this is a quick way of doing it just adding up on your units. You can also use it when you're gonna transition perhaps you have a lot of soft attack in the beginning you need hard attack you're gonna go for more 80 guns you can see if you have the 80 guns that you need to actually make the transition to more 80 heavy units the next thing i want to go through is this button on the sign divisions i think you all know what it is you find your divisions an easy way in the beginning of the game or when you have start fighting a lot and you need to take control of a newly spawned unit yes to use the shift button and click and you will assign everything, every unit that are unassigned here, and you can easily put it into an army, give it a field marshal or general, and you're good to go. So no more looking for units, you can just assign them directly, uh, and it will save you a lot of time. Uh, and the last thing, now it's all out war, but in the beginning, if you need to train your units, you can always go here and use the shift button and uh, click, and you will exercise. Uh, but you will all only exercise those who are not fully exercised. So it will save you a lot of equipment from just pushing exercise button on its own, on its own, where you will train everything. So use the shift train button, yes, to train everything. You works out well with navies and 
airplanes and everything so shift click and train is the way to go uh, perhaps a lot of people knew that but if you didn't you really need to know that so i needed to put that in here so with that said that was the last one we're gonna do a lot more videos right in the comment what you want us to do more is it infrastructure is it more quick tips is it navy what do you want just write it down there and we'll see what we can do if you like this content please like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time